Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you create an index for a table, you define a way that the data in the table may be sorted using fields that are available. Indexing a table is simply a way of organizing the data in the table to allow access to complete query searches more rapidly. Indexing can help speed up the time that it takes to complete queries and access given a few criteria are met first. First of all, you should only index tables that have a variety of different data types within their fields. Second, indexing is more efficient if the data in your indexed fields give each record a more unique identification, like a primary key field would. Indexing is not usually necessary on fields that have multiple repeating values, like a true-false field. Third, you really only need to index fields which are used as criteria in queries. So for example, if you're creating many queries that find records based on phone numbers, you may want to create an index for the field which contains the phone numbers. Assuming your table fields have met these criteria, it can be useful to apply an index to the desired fields to increase the sorting and processing capability of data in queries. Unfortunately, if you apply an index to a table that contains multiple similar data types or has multiple duplicate information in each indexed field, you may actually slow down the speed at which Access updates table information. In these cases, it's actually preferable to not index any fields, as indexing these types of fields will rob you of more time than the time saved by using the indexed fields in the query. Also, Access decides when and if it will choose to use the indexes that you create. All that you can do as the user is simply create the indexes for the table fields. Access will decide when and if to use the indexes when performing a query. Many times when a query is performed on a table which has very little information, Access will perform a table scan on the table records, looking at all of the data in all of the fields and then extracting the requested results. However, as you add more and more data to the tables, Access may find that it is easier to index or sort the table by one of the available indexes first, and then extract the requested records. However, it cannot do this if there are no indexes for it to take advantage of. To view the indexes that have been created for a table, simply open up the table in Design View. Next, click the Indexes button in the database toolbar, or select View Indexes from the menu bar. That will show you your indexes in a separate Indexes dialog box. Notice that almost every table already will have at least one index, the primary key. The primary key is a type of index, and notice that when you open a table in Datasheet View, it sorts the view by the values in the primary key column by default. When you're finished looking at your indexes, you may close the dialog box and then close the table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.